Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Bit of a later upload tonight as it's already dark outside on this Sunday evening. Um, but I'm not long off the turbo trainer this evening. Bit unusual to be riding the turbo trainer on a Sunday. Normally I do most of my rides outside anyway, but especially at the weekend. Um, but uh, but a little bit later this evening. So um, what that actually means is that because I didn't get my longer ride uh, in this weekend, then I've only actually ridden about six and a half hours this week, which is not, uh, not as much as I normally do. But... Uh, it's actually all been pretty structured workouts, so um, hopefully, uh, hopefully the training still goes well. Anyway, uh, what I wanted to talk about today, um, I wanted to talk about this. This is my specialised alley sprint, and I'm going to talk you through uh, some of the things that I like about this bike. So just to be clear, this is actually things that I like about the bike. Um, try to ignore the super special wheels that I love so so much. Um, but they really deserve their own video, um, which uh, which they'll probably get pretty soon. Okay, so uh, my bike is the Specialized Alley Sprint Disc. Uh, I think it's the 2020 version. Um, pretty obvious by the color scheme, they usually change that every year. Um, so uh, if you're looking at buying one of these, uh, this is what it looks like. For ages and ages and ages, I wanted this bike. Uh, really liked the caliper version. I had a um, pretty nice group set on my last bike, but it was rim brake. But Specialized uh, actually didn't bring the rim brake version in the size that I needed, very small size, size 49, uh, to the UK. So um, I was left with the option to get another bike or, or go for the disc, which they did bring uh, in a size 49 to the UK. Really glad I actually went for the disc brake version, as you'll see uh, in a moment. But the first thing I want to talk about is that uh, obviously it being the Alley Sprint, uh, it's actually aluminium. Pretty unusual material for bikes these days, actually. Um, say most of the bikes you see on the race scene or for price point, um, like the Alley Sprint, uh, is actually uh, is uh, is mostly carbon fiber. So that's uh, that's pretty unusual. I actually really quite like the fact that it's aluminium for the price point of the Specialized Alley Sprint. I really felt like you could get a mid-range carbon frame um, when actually this is a really high level aluminium frame so it was it was really that toss-up between high quality aluminium frame or mid-range carbon and I felt like this was um, the better option for that price point really. It also gives me a little bit of peace of mind that uh, aluminium is a little bit more, should we say, aluminium takes impact a bit better than carbon does. Uh, carbon obviously cracks uh, aluminium dents and is uh, usually safe to ride afterwards. So uh, when I eventually do bin it on the last corner of a circuit race of some kind, um, it gives me a little bit of peace of mind that the frame might survive that impact a little bit better than a carbon frame would. So another thing I really like about it, it's really, really stiff. If you know anything about this bike, um, Specialized use their Smart Weld technology whatever they say that means, um, the welding is quite, uh, is quite obvious on the look of the frame, which I quite like, um, but it really helps make the bike really, really stiff. You really feel like every single pedal stroke you're putting through the bike is, uh, is helping you go forward rather than the frame sort of flexing underneath you like some frames actually do feel like they do. So there's really, really minimal flex. Uh, in the frame. Uh, you, you do feel every bump but it really, I feel like it suits my sort of riding and maybe it suits yours as well. One of the things I like and one of the things that turned me on to this bike in the first place, that made me really want one uh, in the first place, um, is that it kind of feels like a like a mini Venge, like a baby Venge. Rest in peace to the Venge. Uh, Specialized don't make the Venge anymore, it looks like the Tarmac's taking its place. But yeah, it feels like a baby Venge. It actually has the Venge uh, carbon seat post um, and it has the uh, the Tarmac forks. This really gives it that sort of high quality feel. These really are the same forks that go onto a Tarmac. That really is the same seat post that goes in the Venge. So it really does have that sort of baby Venge feel to it. Um, but obviously at that low, much lower price point. The top level Venge is £11,000. This obviously doesn't cost as much as that. Um, and I'm very grateful that it doesn't. So one of the things I want to talk about, uh, one of the things I really like, is the colour scheme. It's quite, uh, it's quite in your face. It's really what, it's really what differs some bikes from others. A lot of bikes on the market are very samey. Um, this one is quite different because it's aluminium and it's stiff, but also um, Specialized, I really feel, do a great job with their colour schemes. Um, and I really like this one. As you can see, like it's a very, like, it's quite a bright pink to a yellow fade, 
when I was researching wanting to get one of these bikes, it was really quite frustrating. And I found this with quite a few specialized frames. If you look through their website, you'll see, you know, um, the pictures of the frames on the website. They, they're they not the color that it actually appears on the screen, if that makes sense. So every single picture of this frame that I saw online, um, this was really red um, and it faded into a yellow and the same on the uh, on the down tube decal as well. It really looked red into yellow and I really didn't like it. The red to yellow looked looked quite different. It looked quite, it kind of looked a little outdated. The red to yellow didn't really work. But if you look on the description of the color on the Specialized website and any website that has this bike on it, it actually says vivid pink or something to a yellow fade. Um, so that made me quite intrigued. So when I eventually found a picture online that someone had posted of how quite pink it is, I really liked it and I really like the colour that it is. So so yeah, that, that, that helped make my decision really. It's obviously aesthetic, so each their own, you might not like it. I think it looks quite cool, so that's my that's what I think anyway. I'm not a huge fan of matte black. I'd really rather it was gloss black, but Everybody seems to have matte black bikes these days, so I can understand why Specialized make this matte black because matte black is clearly the trend right now, and I really don't know why. I think it's I think it's dreadfully dull. So finally, last thing I want to talk about, obviously, uh, is disc brake. Um, as I said at the start of the video, I used to have a rim brake bike. This is my first road bike with disc brakes. I didn't really understand why what the whole hype was about disc brakes when. Uh, when it first started coming to the fore, what, uh, two, three years ago now? Um, but I know everybody says this, but now I've been riding on disc brakes for, for, for the best part, what, for all of 2020. Um, it really is better. It's really nice to have trustworthy braking. Um, it does take a little bit more maintenance, but that's the sacrifice you make for, for much better braking. And it, what's really nice is that obviously braking on carbon rims, you're, you're eventually going to wear the rim down. The, the, the carbon rim is not gonna last forever. And also the braking quality is not very good on a carbon rim. But with these, uh, yeah, I'm just wearing down the rotor. So I could just replace it with another rotor. The wheels should really last, um, last forever in theory. Um, but let's not talk about the wheels. They deserve their own separate video, as I said. So uh, yeah, disc brakes. Would highly recommend disc brakes. Anyway, I thought I would just share my thoughts on uh, my experience and the things I like about the LA Sprint disc. Uh, when I was researching this bike, I didn't really feel like there was a lot out there um, of real world reviews of it. So uh, yeah, those are the things I really like. If you're thinking of getting yourself uh, an LA Sprint disc or you know someone that is, then uh, let me know what you, what you think and anything else you'd like to know uh, about this bike. If you're thinking of getting yourself an LA Sprint or you know someone that is, then uh, leave your comments down below if you have any questions um, about, uh, about this frame. I'm happy to answer any questions about it. And also let me know if you want to see a video about these wheels. Thanks for watching this week's video. Uh, see you next week.